Hi, everyone. Um, thank you very much, um, Justice Hassan. Um, God, I'm not sure I know what to say, but um, I'm very, very excited to be here, and I want to shout out my friends that took me out yesterday and made sure that I had fun. But, um, yeah, so um, I guess the topic is if governments don't uphold human rights, what can we do? I come from a community in the Gambia where my tribe, 100% of women, go through female genital mutilation. And the average age of marriage in our tribe is anywhere from 14 to the age of 15. I remember when um, I moved to the US, it was the first time that I found out what FGM was. And to me, it was very, very easy to just be another statistic, to just be another footnote on a research paper, to just be another victim that people can feel sorry for. But I knew that that's not what I wanted to be. And I knew that importing solutions into our community is not how we get results. So for me, going back home to the Gambia and deciding to start a youth-led movement against the practice of female genital mutilation was one way that um, I found healing in myself. It was one way that I thought women like me can relate to what I was doing. I mean, our country was ruled by a dictator for 22 years. I remember when I went to Gambia, I was warned and a lot of people thought I was naive for what I was doing. A lot of people told me not to do it because I'll end up losing my life, but I still went after President Jame. I chased him in every village that he went to. He was on tour at the time for a political rally. But I knew that if I had a meeting with him, two things were going to happen. I'll either end up dead or he will listen to me and do what I wanted. So I met with him, and two days later, Gambia banned FGM. And I... <laughs> Our parliament also ended up enacting a law that made FGM illegal. But to me, it's not only about Gambia banning FGM, and it's not only about Gambia making FGM illegal. 200 million women globally are living with FGM. And it's no longer Africa's problem. It should be all of our problem. Women's rights are human rights. And we will not stand by a government that upholds cultural rights more than they uphold our rights as human beings. Yeah. Our government and the world needs to understand that we have a new norm. As young people, we have inherited some of the worst burdens by the older generation. But we have a chance to make sure that our future is better. We have a chance to make sure that our children don't endure some of the things that we are enduring, from the crisis to Syria, from what the Rohingyas are facing, to everything that's happening around the world. It's not our mess. It was their mess that they created for us. And now we have a chance to make sure that that doesn't continue happening. So for me, I urge all the young people here, if our governments don't uphold human rights, we lobby them, we pressure them, and we demand them to take action. It's our... Thank you. You know, when we are young, they tell us that we are very naive and we are very clueless. But I think we are the best generation. We are the most awesome generation. I mean, some of the things that we are doing. I mean, look at us. A lot of the young people that I met here, like some of them are in technology. I'm amazed. For the first time in my life, being a one young world, I feel like I'm a young person. I mean, from a young age. Not only did I go through FGM, but I was forced to get married at the age of 15. And I was forced to grow up at a young age, so I never had a teenage life. I never went through a lot of the things a lot of teenagers went through. And from the time I started this work, my whole life has been focused on work, work, work. But being here at One Young World and meeting all of you, for the first time in my life, I feel that energy and I feel like I'm young again. Oh. But it just shows... <laughs> <laughs> so let's take our passion. 
It doesn't matter what industry we are in. It doesn't matter if we're in philanthropy. It doesn't matter if we're in social good. It doesn't matter if we're in corporate world. There's a way that we can make our life better. We can't depend on government to uphold our rights. We have to uphold our rights. What's happening in the United States, people shooting people, that hate, we need to make sure that that doesn't continue in our generation. Governments have a responsibility to uphold our rights. And you guys have done a really terrible job around the world to make that happen. But now, with, we are asking you to do that. And we are demanding that that happens. Okay. So thank you. Thank you.